against the background of the general, let's say, slightly dismissive attitude of Russians towards minivans, this car is reputed to be an unconditional favorite among its competitors in our secondary market. And over the past decade and a half, American cars are often characterized by the expression, a lot of car for little money. Take the same Chrysler Voyager. The minivan, resembling a room in a Khrushchevka, is being sold at the price of a European golf class model of the same age. Therefore, it was appreciated by the fathers of large families, lovers of traveling in a large company, and those who simply like such cars. The secondary mainly presents Voyagers brought from the USA, but there are also European copies that were previously sold by dealers and driven by private traders. American Chryslers came with gasoline engines, 2.4 liters, 147 horsepower, as well as V6 volumes of 3.3, 182 horsepower, and 3.8 liters, 218 horsepower. The European versions in the arsenal were 2.4 liters, 147 horsepower, and V6 3.3 liters, 174 horsepower, as well as a 2.5 liter turbo diesel, 143 horsepower. A mechanical 5-speed gearbox was combined with a 2.4 liter engine and a turbo diesel. The four-band automatic was installed on all gasoline engines, with the V6 as standard, and on the 2.8-liter turbo diesel, which has appeared in the range since 2003. Six-cylinder modifications came with both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. Chrysler Voyager is so spacious that from the driver's seat you can easily walk into the salon. Since the minivan has a flat floor, and the gearshift lever is on the steering column, as well as a wide opening between the front seats. Moreover, some versions had sofas on the second and third rows, and the Euro version was equipped with six separate seats. The build quality and materials are decent, the front panel is finished with soft plastic, however, this plastic does not look rich. The package included a driver's airbag, a three-speed automatic transmission and air conditioning. The rear passenger door was provided only on the starboard side. The LX version was a five-door and was supplemented with ABS an airbag for the passenger and servo front windows, as well as an automatic. The limited variant included leather upholstery, electric package, and climate control. We sold European versions of Voyager assembled in Austria. Gasoline engines are not very expensive to maintain. V6 for many years of release have practically got rid of childhood diseases and are considered reliable. They are simple in design, two valves per cylinder, durable and picky about fuel they willingly work on 92-octane gasoline. The gas distribution mechanism, GRM, drive uses a durable chain, the resource of which reaches 500,000 kilometers. Even spark plugs, from 150 rubles apiece, are used ordinary and ask for replacement after 30,000 kilometers. But the 2.4 liter, 4, is a little more capricious in operation. From our gasoline on the first cars, high voltage wires and candles became unusable, as a result, misfires. The injection system periodically needs to be cleaned at an ultrasonic unit, from 1500 rubles. In the timing mechanism there is a toothed belt, which, according to the regulations, is replaced after 168,000 kilometers. The interval between maintenance for all engines is 10,000 to 12,000 kilometers. The automatic transmission is durable and maintainable, but the input diagnostics upon purchase is mandatory. In the rear suspension, in the design of which a semi-dependent beam is used, there is nothing special to break. Even after 150,000 kilometers, only silent blocks and rubber bands of levers will have to be changed. Air conditioner. From anti-icing reagents, the tubes of the rear evaporator of the air conditioner on long wheelbase modifications are destroyed. The highway is laid under the bottom. Electrical equipment suffers from chemicals. Sensor connectors rot, 2,450 rubles, ABS plus 2,000 rubles. The wiring harness for the sliding rear doors breaks. Recovery, 7,500 rubles. In the front suspension, every 30,000 kilometers you will have to change the stabilizer struts, from 1850 rubles per pair. The durability of other elements depends on the driving style. Engine. V6 engines are superior in reliability and durability to the inline 2.4 liter, 4. The main expenses will fall on spark plugs, high voltage wires and various electronic sensors, from 750 to 3000 rubles. Transmission. There are cases of chafing of the wiring harness that feeds the control module of the machine, because of which it goes into emergency mode. Repair, 4500 rubles. 